How do we help people understand that everything we do on the land has an impact on water? I think everybody, if they really think about it, understand how critical clean water is to their lives. But the problem is that people don't really think about it. And I think people have lost that understanding. We haven't, and we haven't done a good job of teaching that understanding. As you and I have talked about, water is important to everybody. Everybody benefits from clean water, right? But if we talk about it in terms of TMDLs, rather than there's too much pollution in the river and here's what we need to address it, then we lose an audience that is critical to helping us solve these problems. We struggle so much to get the jargon out of our business and make, make these issues understandable. You know, only a few people know what a TMDL is, but everybody knows what a pollution diet is. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with some kindergartners, mm -hmm. and they completely understood the idea of feeding lakes and rivers too many, too much food. How can we use what we know, science, you know, scientifically and technically, to expand our conversation there and really help people understand that um, this is this is a very basic issue and you're participating in it with pretty much every decision you make and every action you take in your life. Um, so we don't need to talk about TMDLs, we need to talk about your role in helping us meet our common societal value of clean water. We know farmers trust farmers, they learn from farmers. What the FarmWise program does is creates a, a core of mentor farmers that can reach out to farmers looking for new ways to protect their own topsoil, um, improve their own bottom line, and meet sustainable water goals. We ask a lot of farmers as a society. Mm -hmm. um, farmers we, take a lot of risk. Sure, they do. But as a country and in Minnesota, we still have water pollution problems and we need farmers' help in um, meeting some of those goals and cleaning that up. I mean, farmers cannot fix water quality in the state of Minnesota or in the nation. But farmers can fix their part of it. At the same time, people in urban areas need to fix their part of it. And if we all take responsibility for the piece that's ours, we'd go a long way to cleaning up water and having healthier water. Right. Um, so the farmer to farmer education where that successful farmer, that successful water friendly farmer, reaches out to another farmer who might be looking for some ways to adopt some of those practices themselves. And the key is they can see from a peer that this is something that I've tried, this is something that worked on my land that met my needs and had water quality improvements. We had yeah. cleaner water as a result of, of this practice. There are a lot of farmers doing a lot of great things. Right. They're doing a lot of really responsible things using responsible conservation practices on their farm, but more farmers should. More farmers could and more farmers should, just right. like everyone in the urban area should be doing more to protect water.